The following movie will give you an overview of how to use the ovality sensor. The ovality sensor is a measurement tool for rotary kilns, which measures the changes in the roundness or curvature of the kiln shell during operation. This elastic deformation is called ovality and is primarily present in the area of a kiln tire. The measurement gives accurate information about the degree of mechanical loads in the refractory and kiln shell. Follow strictly the local safety rules given by the respective plant and local authorities. The ovality sensor comes as a toolkit in a strong and tight transport case, which includes the following items. The ovality sensor itself, a high range Bluetooth adapter for USB, a battery charger with different country adapters, and in the lid, the manual as well as the software for Windows, the TomTom Tools Measurement Studio. As a first step, the Bluetooth adapter has to be plugged into the laptop. Then start the software. The software screen is structured the following way. In the top left corner are the main function buttons. Below the window were the connected tools and files. For the moment, the middle window shows the tool settings. In the top right window are the events and information about the condition of the measurement tool. In the log window below is a list with activities which are performed during measuring. And here will be displayed the battery status and the magnet temperature. Now switch on the tool so the green light turns on. Whenever the measurement studio is running, it is searching for known devices. In this case, TomTom tools. If a TomTom tool is detected, it will be displayed in the overview window under devices. To connect a tool, select it and click on the connect button. Once the ability sensor is connected to the laptop, the orientation sensor can be calibrated. After placing the tool on a horizontal surface, push the button calibrate in the software. Then click next and hold the sensor onto a vertical surface. Push the next button one more time and the calibration is done. Now the actual measurement process can start. To start a new measurement, click on Measurement, New, Ovality. The first pair will be displayed as per default. Type the kiln diameter into the box. More pairs can be added by right clicking the mouse. Additional functions are remove a peer and change the flow direction. Enter useful additional information about the measurement into the settings window. With that, the software is ready. Place the tool on the first of the three previously marked reference points. In this case, point A. Then start the measurement with the start button or by pushing F5. The data logging starts when the tool reaches the top point. The measured points are displayed continuously on the screen until the tool reaches the top point for a second time. Once the measurement of the first position A is taken, remove the tool. In the next steps, the ability of the two remaining positions, B and C, are measured. Due to the fact that the ovality is most dominant under the tires, the measurements should be taken in close proximity to them. Distances of 1 to 1.5 meters between tire and tool are okay and normally give only negligible errors. The values of the relative ovality are directly calculated and displayed in the lower center window. Once the measurement is finalized, remove the tool. Avoid leaving the instrument unnecessarily attached to the hot kiln as it might overheat after a period of time. Please be cautious when handling the sensor after removal as the magnets will be very hot. Do not touch them and do not place the ovality sensor in the box before it has cooled down. Do not forget to save the file from time to time. The individual graphs can be hidden or shown as desired. As an additional analyzing tool beside the radar chart, a line chart is also available. The measurements can be extracted into a report where all the graphs are shown in the radar or linear views. All the additional information from the settings window is included in the report as well.